Hello there everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a makeup tutorial and it's a little bit more fall vibes, cranberry eye and a dark lip, perfect for the fall time, very cool toned and it's more of a halo eye so it's very actually kind of glam and more of a nighttime look so if you're interested please keep watching, I'll show you how to achieve this look. So I'm starting off with some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on my eyelids and I'm just going to apply this to cancel out any uh, veins or any redder bluish tones that we may have on our eye and I'm blending it out with their Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Usually I would do my face makeup first but since we're using a little bit more chunky glitter from this Huda Beauty Nude Palette I thought that we would start off with the eyes first just in case we have any fallout and I'm setting that base with the shade Bare from the palette just making sure that our base is not tacky so that we don't get any skid marks or anything like that with our eyeshadows. Next with a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking the shade Lace from the palette and I'm just going to apply that in the crease just to start laying down some of those cool tones and then this will sort of act as our transition shade for any of the darker colors or for our halo eye as well. Next, we're going to start creating our halo with the shade Spanked with a smaller crease brush. I'm just going to mainly focus this on the outer and inner corners of the eye and connect it in the crease. I'm leaving the middle of the eyelid bare because that's where we're going to put our shimmer and glitter. So just mainly focusing this on the outer and inner corners, taking a larger brush just to make sure all the edges are blended and there's no harsh edges as well. Just going back and forth until you get the desired intensity on the inner and outer corners. Next, I'm taking the shade Tease from the palette and this is going to go in the outer and sort of outer corners of the eye and outer corners of the crease just to add a little bit more depth and it's not meant to show up or anything like that, just meant to darken up our eye look, make it a little bit more nighttime wearable than daytime. And in the middle of our eyelid, I'm going to take the shimmer shade from the palette, which is shade Charmed. It's a really nice, cool tone gold. And I'm applying that with my finger just so that I can go ahead and get the maximum opacity and most shimmer, most glitter from that shade. Using your finger just allows that you get that maximum wow power from any shimmer shades. And then with a smaller crease brush, I just blend out the edges to make sure that everything is nicely blended with all the other colors. And then just go back and forth and make sure that you get the desired shimmer that you like. With an angled brush, I'm just going to line my top uh, line with, the, with a black eyeshadow. Anyone can do, just get like a dark black eyeshadow. If you want to use a gel liner, you can totally do that as well. Just going to add a little bit depth to our lash line. Next, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the face. I'm using Maybelline Baby Skin Primer after I moisturize my skin just in the areas where I have larger pores to make sure that our base is flawless. And I'm also going to do some color correcting. This is an LA Girl green concealer or green corrector that I'm going to use just on any red spots that I may have on my face. Make sure that you do your base after you wipe off any fallout from your eyes. I didn't happen to have any, but make sure that you do that before you do your base. For foundation, I'm using the Cinema Secrets Foundation Palette and I'm using the shade 302-65A. And this may look a little bit darker than what I usually use, but here when I filmed this, I had a little bit of a tan for my self-tanner. So this might be darker than my face, but it actually matched my body pretty well. When you do your foundation, you want to make sure that it matches your body. That way everything looks the same color, not, you know, two different colors on your body. Next, 
Next I'm going to do some cream contour. I'm taking this Ben Nye Matte Foundation Palette and I'm taking these two top shades. Um, one of them is Soft Caramel, the other is Golden brown Bronze. And then I mix it and just apply that to where I would normally cream contour. Just in the hollow of my cheekbones, on my temples, forehead, and jawline. Next, I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just applying down any areas that I'd like to conceal or slightly highlight. I've actually found this technique from Nikki Makeup on Instagram. She's a celebrity makeup artist and she actually recommends in her tutorials to use less concealer and don't apply it so close to your lash line just so that you don't get that cakiness or any creasing with your concealer and I've been trying it out and really liking it. The face just ends up looking a little bit more natural and not as cakey which I've been enjoying. Next I'm taking RCMA No Color Powder and I'm not going to bake or anything like that. I've really been also enjoying the look of less powder on the skin so that it doesn't look so matte and a little bit more natural of a glow. So I'm just applying that in the areas where I applied my concealer just to set it and make sure it doesn't move throughout the day. But not baking, not using a whole lot of powder, just a little bit in the areas that I want to set. Then with a large fluffy brush, just dusting off any excess powder. Next, we're going to bronze our face a little bit. This is actually a face powder. This is L'Oreal True Match Powder, but it is several shades darker than my uh, skin tone. So I actually use it to bronze my face and set any cream contours because it's just since the powder, it's very thin and very nice and natural. Now I want to apply some glitter on the inner corners of my eyes. This is a NYX Roll-On Glitter and it's a bronze shade. And I'm just applying that with a Sigma pencil brush on the inner corners of the eyes. Just adding a little bit more pow to our eyes, right? With some glitter. Who doesn't love a glitter moment, right? Then I'm taking that top corner shade again and I'm taking that on a smudger brush just to add a little bit of shadow to our bottom lash line just to tie in that look together. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Today I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm also using a NYX Brow Powder Duo in the shade Taupe. And for blush, I'm using a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. Just a really nice rosy tone that kind of goes good with the eyes and lips. It's not, a it's not too much, so it doesn't take away from our eyes and our bold lip that we're going to do, but it's, it just ties it all together. Then we're going to highlight our face. I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter, and I'm using a Morphe Highlighting Brush. And I'm just going to apply that on the high points of my face. Even in fall, we like to glow over here, you guys. We like to glow year-round on this channel. And I'm using Clinique High Impact Mascara just on my bottom lashes and anywhere where I may have some holes from my eyelash extensions, but mainly on my lower lashes. This is a waterproof mascara, so it will just ensure that it lasts all day. Next, the moment you've all been waiting for, the dark lip. I'm starting off with a lip liner. This is a NYX matte lip liner in the shade Copenhagen. It'll just help our dark lip not to smudge or run. And it'll look a little bit more put together. If you use a liner before, that can definitely help you out with any dark lips that you might plan to use. 
Next for our dark lip, I'm actually mixing two shades. The first one I'm applying is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. The reason why I don't just keep one is because these, this shade of Vice Liquid Lipstick is not my favorite. It kind of gets a little bit patchy, but I like the color of it, so I kind of mix it with other lipsticks just to get that nice kind of vampy lip that I enjoy. And then I'm also taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen as well. It's the same color as the lip liner, and that way we can get a very dark lip. Then with a small brush and some concealer, I'm just cleaning up the edges to make sure that there are no jagged edges and make sure everything looks nice and clean. But with that, we are done with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share with any family members. That does help me out a lot. Any products used will be linked in the description below. But please keep in mind that some of those links may be affiliate from which I earn a small commission off your purchase. But you don't have to use them. They're there in case you like to do so and support me and my small channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.